Okay, so this is exciting. So I am about to get on a plane and we are flying from the US to Italy. And so I just thought I would tell y'all kind of what I do. So I'm wearing human hair and I have a big piece of tape here to tape down my lace front. And um, I'm wearing my John Renault carry because it's really comfortable and I'm gonna be sleeping on the plane, you know, so I want hair that's easy, you know, back here in the back, nothing bulky or whatever. And um, then I brought one other human hair wig and I'm going to do this trip with two wigs. So I will update you guys on how that's going. So we're walking through Rome. Today I'm wearing a different human hair wig. That is just easy for me to pull back and stuff like that. We're eating pizza, going to museums, and having a great time. We're just walking through Venice. We just went over the Rialto Bridge. Now we're just walking along. Here's the hubby. done so much walking we're just relaxing on the patio at the hotel for a moment oh you can't see it it's so nice and the church bells are ringing Okay, so now we're on the coast in uh, Cinque Terre in Italy, and I've been walking around all day, and I have my wig on. This is my continental um, hair, human hair wig, and I have to say, <laughs> it's hot. I mean, there's just times that you're just going to have to deal with the fact that your wig is hot. That's just how it is if you're going to have hair <laughs> on your head. It's going to be hot. So now I'm going to take it off and wash it. Huh? Huh? Oh, I want this. Oh, I 
there's something down there. There's our group. This this is where the flies are this one. We're just traipsing through the vineyard. everybody okay so thank you so much for watching this Italy video the reason I wanted to make this video is because I just wanted it to be an encouragement to you all um, whether you're early in your wig journey or you're you know midway or you've worn them a long time or whatever like don't let your hair loss hold you back I think this trip was probably the most nervous I've been traveling I, because I was 5,000 miles from home you know um, and you have to fly and you have to pack light and all that kind of stuff. So I knew that I could not take a whole bunch of wigs. So my thinking in the wigs that I took was that I didn't want to have wear and tear on my synthetics because I knew I was going to be sitting on a bus, sitting on a boat, sitting on a plane. You know, our initial flight over there was 10 hours. Then we had a six hour layover in Munich. Then we had a two hour a hour and a half, two hour flight from Munich to Rome. So another plane seat, you know, and when you're sitting on a plane, you don't have a ton of room. Your head is gonna be up against that headrest, you know, and I was worried that I would like get wear on my synthetics. And then I wasn't, I didn't wanna have to have like high maintenance hair where I had to take a lot of time because I knew we were gonna, you know, sleep at night, get up in the morning, eat breakfast, and be wanting to go, 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 and see all the sights because we were on this tour where we were gonna have about a day and a half at every location, and then we had a bus trip in between. So, you know, we, we wanted to make the most of our trip and see as much as we could. So I didn't want hair that I was gonna have to like, heat friendly synthetic where I was gonna have to go and you know fix it and flat iron it and all that kind of stuff. So that was why I made the decision to take two human hair wigs. So at the beginning of the video, on the on our on my first flight, I wore my John Renault carry. And um, this is the carry that I got from Gardo that was uh, you know, she's colored it, did some special coloring to it. Uh, and I thought that, and then this is my Allison by Continental Wigs, Continental Hair, and I thought that okay, I will wear both of these and I'll just intersperse them. But the first day that we were there, we were in Rome and we were going to the Vatican. We had an early morning tour and then we wanted to see as much as we could. We had a day in Rome, then we were gonna train to Ven take the train to Venice. So I, we wanted to just knock it out and see as much as we could of Rome. So then when, on our tour, we were gonna wrap back around and go back to Rome. So then we only wanted to have a few sides because we knew we'd be tired at the end. So I threw on this Allison. I'll show you what she looks like down. So, you know, she's gorgeous down, but I didn't want to deal with hair in my face all day. And I, I didn't want to have, I just wanted a low maintenance, easy hairdo. So every day I just took her and I pulled her back I used one of these, you know, long pressure clip barrette things, stuck it back here in the back, fixed it. Now her ear tabs, I have a little bit of bio hair here, so I don't want to have that space. So I loosened the hair up. Plus I think that makes it look more realistic anyway. 
loosened the hair up a little bit in the barrette, just right around my face. And I have cut a few little teeny baby hairs just to kind of have some flyaways and just make it look more natural in this in this particular wig. And this was my hairdo every single day. And it was super easy. My hair was out of my face. I didn't have to deal with it. This wig is so realistic. It is a silk top with a lace front. So you can see that lace transition there. Although it's hard to show the lace front because there's the lace front's kind of small once you trim it down and everything. But anyway, it just looked natural and I didn't have to, you know, deal with my hair a whole lot. And I knew that it would be fine, like I said, brushing up against those, you know, plain seats and bus seats and all that kind of stuff. And it would just look like natural hair and nobody would question, you know, nobody would, I wouldn't have to feel self-conscious or anything like that, you know. So um, I did miss some of my synthetics. I was kind of like, oh, there were a few times like we went to, we went back to the hotel and we cleaned up and got ready for dinner. And I was like, oh, I could, you know, kind of wish I had like my Caliente or my Bellissimo or my straight up with a twist, you know. But I decided to just stick with, you know, one wig. It just, it was a workhorse of a wig. I had to wash it at that, you know, you saw that part in the video where I was laying on the bed and I'm like, okay, wigs are hot, y'all, you know. They are hot. I was in a hot, sweaty, humid environment. It was those were the beach towns on the um, on the coast in Italy, and they were crowded. Cruise ships came in. There was a bunch of people. It was super crowded. It was hot. It was humid. It was gorgeous. We still wanted to see it all, do it all, hike, whatever we had to do. You know. So that day, I got back to the hotel and I was like, "Dude, I have to wash this sucker. It is dirty. You know, it's smelly and sweaty." So I washed it and let it dry overnight put a few little simple curls in it. Yeah, I've washed it again since then, but um, pulled it back again and we were good to go, you know? So um, that's how I found it the easiest to travel. You know, you do you, you do what you want to do, but um, you know, I know that a lot of you have questions and you want advice and you want encouragement. And for me, I just want to make my life as easy as possible. So that was why I, I thought I was going to wear both these wigs. I had no problem with like switching colors and all that in front of the tour and all that kind of stuff. But this wig just worked. <laughs> it was great. You know, um, so this is the one that I wore the most. So anyway, I thank you so much for watching. I hope that you find this encouraging. Don't let your hair loss hold you back. Go do the things, vacation, um, go to the places, do all that stuff. You know, don't worry about, you know, yes, you're, when it's hot, you're going to sweat some under your wig cap and all that kind of stuff. Give yourself some time to wash it in the hotel or take another wig and switch it out, whatever. You know, I was just trying to pack light. That was my thing. I didn't have a lot of extra room to take a whole bunch of wigs. So, so anyway, um, I hope you find this encouraging. Uh, share below with me, like your wig stories from travel. I would love to hear, you know, what your experiences are and your experiences help others in the comments and everything. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.